Hello everybody. So the day is quickly coming to a close here in the Red River Gorge. As you can see it's starting to get kind of dark. Um, less than an hour until sun officially sets I believe. So I'm getting ready to set up camp in my Jeep here. Uh, I frequently sort of do a makeshift uh, camper setup here in my 2008 Jeep Patriot. So I figured I'd just do a quick video kind of outlining or outlining how I uh, how I set things up. Okay, so at first glance things look really chaotic because I've got stuff just thrown back here, but it really is not that chaotic. So, got some stuff to eat there for some sandwiches and such. Um, but this is how I got set up. You can kind of see how I've got the bed set up there, but we'll look at that in a minute. So what I do is I fold the back seats down here. And over here, that's all my search and rescue gear in case we get a call out. So I stuff all that down there behind the seat. And then if we move back here to the back of the vehicle, you can see this is where I keep all my gear for throughout the day. I've got a cooler full of like drinks and lunch meat, that sort of thing. My uh, pack that I use throughout the day, random gear I might need, uh, you know, at any given time. And then this, I just keep back here in winter. This is full of all kinds of winter gear, like uh, gloves, hats, balaclavas, hand warmers, that sort of thing. And I don't know if you can see it, there's a cubby there. There's just a few odds and ends stuffed in there, some stuff like some emergency water and some gloves and such. So then, if we move over to here, we get to the really interesting part. And as you can see, this is the bed setup. So what I do, I got some, I'm gonna glamp tonight with a pillow and blanket from home. Uh, that's my laptop. I brought it on this trip so I can get some uh, work done. And that's my front pack. But as you can see, what I've done is I've laid the front seat here down completely flat and the back seat is laid down completely flat and what I've done this is a little wooden platform I've made it is not scientific at all um, it fits down in there and wedges between this gap so what I'll do is I'll take that green military blanket you see there lay it across here just to help protect my sleeping pad and it also doubles as a way to cover up my rescue gear so it's not visible from the outside of the car I'll lay that down and then if we move to the front of the car You'll see that stuff down in here, that's where I keep, I've got sleeping pad, uh, sleeping bag, some camp pillows and that kind of thing stashed down there. And uh, I'll show you this all set up here in a moment. And then something else I keep set up in here, that is one of those uh, big battery jumper packs here. I can use this to charge anything via USB and it's sort of kept plugged into my power inverter there that's in my Jeep. That way. Uh, it's charging as I drive. But let me go ahead, uh, clean this up a little bit, set up the bed, and show you what it looks like. Okay, and here's what it looks like with the bed fully set up. So as you can see, I've got that wool blanket down here just to help uh, protect the sleeping pad from anything that might puncture it. I've got my Xtherm sleeping pad, some pillows, uh, way overkill in the insulation probably. This is a zero degree sleeping bag and it's not supposed to get that cold. Um, and a blanket from home because why not? I don't have to worry about carrying it on my back. I've also got, you can see I've got one of these sort of solar rechargeable lanterns back here for light. And uh, yeah, it works out quite well actually. So I'm roughly six feet tall and I can stretch out fully with the setup. I don't, you know, I'm not real cramped. Um, got about as much room off to my sides as I would in a small one man tent. Uh, more headroom probably than a typical one-man tent. Excuse me. Um, so it's really not a half bad setup. It's actually fairly comfortable. I use this all the time when I'm down here. Um, you know, it's a lot easier than setting up a tent. Even where I am right now, I could walk maybe 200 yards that way and there are lots of tent sites um, or hammock sites. But then, you know, I got to take that, set everything up, carry the gear out there. It's a lot easier just to have this set up, especially if we happen to get a rescue call, then I don't need to really do anything. I don't need to worry about my gear or anything. It's all here. All I gotta do is get up, get in the driver's seat and go, right? So uh, yeah, it's part of the logic behind it. It's just easy. It's super easy. You know, it's not what I always do. Sometimes I camp normally, of course, but yeah, that's how I manage to camp in my small little Jeep Patriot here. So hopefully you found this interesting. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.